Never Stop Learning, week 206. We're going to take a quick look at the polygonal lasso tool in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015. All right, so here I've got an image set up, and the first thing I want to do is activate the polygonal lasso tool. Now, the way I do it in my workflow is I hold down the Shift key, and then I hit the L key a couple times until I see the polygonal lasso tool activated over in the left. All right, now another way to do that is just go into the Tools panel, click and hold, and you're going to find the polygonal lasso tool in the same stack that you find your lasso tool. All right, so I'm going to make sure my polygonal lasso tool is activated. And you can tell it's activated because my cursor looks a lot different. All right, so let's see how this guy works. I'm going to come over here and use this to create a straight edge selection. I'm going to start in the upper left corner. I'm just going to click right here. Go to the upper right. Click again. Bottom right. Click right there. Now, you know, if you click in the wrong location, just drag your cursor over until you find a good spot and then release. All right. I'm going to come over here. Click and release. Now, instead of going all the way back to the top and trying to get that little endpoint just right, what I'm going to do is hit return on my keyboard, and that's going to complete the selection for me. All right, so now what have we done? If I hit the V key, just to grab the move tool, command J to make a copy of this guy. Now I can move this guy over, and there you go. So we've created this awesome straight edge selection using the polygonal lasso tool. All right, back in the layers panel, I'm actually going to delete this guy. And just show you another way to work with this. All right, I'm going to hit the L key on my keyboard. That time I only had to hit the L key because the polygonal lasso tool was already at the top of the stack. All right, now I'm going to come over here in the options bar in the upper left section. You're going to see that by default it's already set to new selection. So what does that mean? If I click over here, I'm going to do a couple clicks. Click, click, and then just return. There we go. All right, so I have one selection going. If I click again, you notice that first selection is now gone. All right, so I'm going to finish this one off. Back in the options bar, we could also switch it over to add to selection. So let's see how that works. I'm going to click, 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 and return. All right, so that, that's what it means to add to the selection. We also have the ability to subtract from the selection or create an intersection. Now, just to the right of that where it says feather, in here, you could enter in a specific value, like let's say we wanted a 5 pixel feathering on any selection we create from now on. This is a quick way to do it. Now, I'm going to leave mine set to 0, so I'm just going to drag this guy over towards the left. There you go. Now, we also have this button right here. When I hover over it, it lets me know that this is going to smooth the edge transition. Now, currently it's turned on. If I click on this guy to depress it, there you go, now it's turned off. So, I'm going to leave mine turned on for now. And also, because I have a selection going over here in my document, I have access to this button right here that says Refine Edge. When I click on that, it's going to give me access to all the Refine Edge options. All right, so I'm going to hit Cancel to get out of that. Now I'm going to reset this guy to how it was by default and deselect this guy. All right, so more workflow stuff. This time, I'm going to make a selection around this uh, green portion of the window. All right, so in the upper right section, I'm going to click and release come down to the bottom right, and I'm going to click and release. Now, if I keep going, you notice that there's a little rounding there. Well, I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option key, click and drag, and you notice my cursor changes up, and now I'm using the Lasso tool. All right, I'm going to release the Option key and my mouse, and there you go, so I'm back to normal mode. All right, I'm going to bring my cursor all the way over towards the left, click and release. Now, this time I'm going to hold down Option, click and drag, and release. All right, so I can just bring my cursor towards the upper left section. There you go. Now option, click and drag to just go along this upper part of the window. And release. There you go. And there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at the polygonal lasso tool in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015.